first I grew up just around older people. My dad always took me to the park. I was always playing against grown men at the age of 10, you know what I mean? So I always had that, that dog mentality and that heart to go out there and just play hard, no matter what size you are or how good you are or how skilled you are. That's where I began my competitiveness. This is the off season and I'm traveling queen. Honestly, I'm in the game. Everybody wants to win a championship. You win a championship, that means you're the alpha. Who cares about anybody else's opinion? I want a championship. What are you going to take from me? The accolades, I didn't even know I was going to get any of the accolades that came with it. You know what I mean? I was just hooping. And then one of my coaches texted me like the day before, like, MVP, MVP, MVP. And I'm like, what are you talking about, coach? Like, I don't know what's going on. And like, he said, Oh, tomorrow they're going to announce you the MVP. Our league MVP, uh, also our oh, MVP. Yeah. Two-way was was something I knew I could get, and once I got it, it was like, okay, now I can get a standard contract. Once I get a standard contract, okay, now I can get a maximum contract. But once I get a championship, what, what else can I get after that? You can't guard me. Huh? You could? You don't believe that. Do you honestly believe that? No, you don't. Growing up, I was really, I was under the radar, not really highly recruited out of high school. Went to junior college because my AU coach coached there. I said I could play. I redshirted my first year. Left there, it was too, too, too close to home. I was like, let me try something different. Let me get on the West Coast, see how it's feeling. Um, went to the West Coast, worst decision ever in my career, but it was also a blessing because it taught me so much more and how, how bad I really wanted to play the game and love for the game. Uh, went there, they don't offer no scholarships, so I'm we're just trying to make ends meet every day, you know what I mean? Just seeing some stuff that you're not supposed to see along this journey, um, face some hunger, face a housing situation. I had lost my grandparents, lost one of my grandparents. And she was like my backbone, she was my everything. She brought me into a relationship with God. Like she was always like my everything to me. So I lost her and we couldn't afford myself to get the trip to back to make the funeral. So I never like, I don't remember the last thing she said to me. I don't remember like last time I seen her or like nothing like that, you know what I mean? So like for that it was like, and I was homeless at the time. So I was like, I can't get no food and I just lost my best friend ever. Like. So I'm at, I'm at my lowest of my lowest, you know what I mean? And I was like, bro, like, I'm about to just give up, bro. Like, I'm about to just give up on everything, literally, like. But then I was like, what would she want me to do, you know what I mean? Like, if she was here, what would she tell me? Like, she would, she would say, keep going, put God first, and believe in yourself no matter what it is. So I just kept going, like. Ended up being, like, the top scorer in California that year, even facing what I was facing. And it was just like, Either keep going or just go back home where everybody's, everybody's doing what they're doing, you know what I mean? I'd rather not go home, you know what I mean? I'd rather keep going. And then winning the MVP of the WAC tournament, it was like, out of nowhere, like I was literally the last man off the bench and then I didn't win the WAC tournament my first year. I was homeless doing this, now I'm winning a G League championship, so it's just like a blessing. I know where I belong now. I know I belong in the NBA. I know I can compete at the highest level possible at a consistent basis for any organization. I feel like I can be useful to anybody. That's how I bring energy and how I play. You know what I mean? Um, so for me, it's just end up getting that standard contract and hopefully I can help a team win an NBA championship. I already had so much motivation with my, my family already, but having a daughter is like an eye opener. You do everything so much differently. There she is. A little toot too. A little strawberry. Yeah, you gotta see yourself, huh? Yeah. She got a little peanut head every time her hair's laid. <laughs> yeah, it's dad. Say dad. She just says dad every once in a while. Nah, but I, I'll talk to you guys later. I just had to see my little tooth a little bit.
But I love you guys. Whatever. All right, I'll talk to you. At the end of the day, it's longevity for me. I just want to be remembered. I want to be one guy that came in and just left. I want to be remembered as one of the one of the all-time greats, if not one of just one of the best players. That's what I'm trying to show you. Doesn't matter where you're at, just where you're going.